now, uh... We went from VHS. one kind of cassette to another kind of cassette. <laughs> yep. VHS tapes. Got a decent amount and got some pretty cool ones in here, too. Uh, start with the, uh, Disney ones. Well, mostly Disney. Clamshells. Yeah, clamshells. Uh, found three Black Diamond editions. Uh, Fox and the Hound. Well, wow, that was weird. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Fox and the Hound, which I saw in the theater. Really? Yep. I saw that. Saw that flick in the theater, and it made me sad. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know that I've actually ever seen this one. And I think, if I remember correctly, while you're talking about that, um... I don't think I, I. I think that that's one of the few Disney movies that I'm ignorant on. I haven't seen it yet. I think. Um, Somebody famous does one of the voices in here. Oh, well, probably. Uh, 101 Dalmatians. Which I've never actually seen the animated version of. I've seen the live action one. I've seen this one, but. Because Cruella de Vil was a great villain. One of the better ones, in my opinion. That's right. That's, that's what I thought it was. And it makes sense whenever you hear, hear this. Hmm. Um. Uh, and Dumbo, by the way, while he's still looking. Classic. Uh, Copper, which I think is the hound dog. Yeah. Uh, Kurt Russell does the voice of Copper. Really? In that. Awesome. But you have to you have to remember that Kurt Russell was also um, was also contracted by Disney, and he was actually one of the Disney kids. Uh -huh. Like first, so I said probably like second generation. Disney kids from the 70s and early 80s. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, so that, it makes sense why he was, uh, why he did it. But, uh, Kurt Russell does the voice of, I'm a hound dog. He's the one that says the, the famous, I'm a hound dog. And Lord of the Rings, the original animated one. Uh, Bakshi, not Bakshi, Master. I now have this in three different formats. Awesome. Fucking shower. All right, what else we got? Now that douchebag neighbor's done taking a shower. Yeah, we have to pause for a second. Instantaneous uh, to you. Jurassic Park, widescreen edition, at that. Mm -hmm. We had actually found a really cool uh, two uh, two tape version of Jurassic Park that had a whole tape of special features and different stuff like that. And we had it in the basket, and we were going up to pay for it, and somebody wrote on somebody wrote on it. Guys, don't write on your movies. Yeah. Okay, do not write on your movies. There is no. No need for that. There's no sensical reason for it. Because if you, for some reason, you decide to get rid of a movie and turn around and go and sell it back and sell it to someplace, people aren't going to want to buy it because it's got a name written on it. Well, actually, people probably will, but they shouldn't because just, just don't do it. Yeah. Okay. Unless you are in the movie and you wrote your name in cursive, yeah, that's the only way it's acceptable. Yeah. That person did not, was not in that movie. Yeah. Uh, wedding singer. And this one's kind of cool because it's got, a, it's got three karaoke songs on here. Somewhere. I guess probably at the end or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm sure it's at, it's at, I'm sure if it's anything like it, it's after the credits roll. Yeah. Rapper's Delight, Do You Really Want to Hurt Me? And White Wedding. That's cool. And that was what's really cool is when... They put special features on the videotape. I remember uh, Varsity Blues had had interviews with the cast. Well, of course, it's the stuff, the same stuff that you see on the DVDs now. Yeah. But uh, they had interviews with the cast and stuff like that. And then like that, like the one for Detroit Rock City had uh, teach you how to play rock and roll all night. That's cool. On the on the videotape. So yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. More like Ferris Bueller's day on, because he was on point, as the kids say. That has a, that has a barcode on it. This 
right here. No. Oh. So no, it may, may, may not be anything special. Yeah. So. Ah. Uh, fast and the furious. This is crazy to find this because you do. I, I I never would never would have even thought about this maybe being released on VHS. You know, just because I, I don't know why. Because I'm so used to this maybe being DVD mm -hmm. only. But what's really cool about this one? Hollywood Video Rental. And on this one, there's an address. I looked it up. It's from Arlington. Hollywood Video in Arlington, which is now an Anytime Fitness. And that makes me so sad. <laughs> and it's probably not that far from where we bought it. Yeah. So it didn't travel very far. But it if we had noticed that, we would have looked it up and gone and taken a picture yeah. in front of it. I just... It always it makes me sad when I see video stores and blockbusters and things like that that have turned into other things, and especially in Anytime Fitness. That is not in the spirit of a Hollywood video. Hollywood video for renting movies and sitting on your ass and eating popcorn. And eating popcorn, not working out. Fuck. So I say that's either a really small workout place or it was a really huge uh, movie movie store. Hollywood videos are pretty good size. So, uh, Harry Potter. And the Sorcerer's Stone with never before seen footage. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, I think that there was only like two of these. I think it was just the first two that I were released so. on VHS. So we're gonna we'll have to try to find the second one. Um, I love this. I love this cover too. I love this artwork. That's the one that's on the the first release DVD, which I have both of. But I don't know. I just really like that. Uh, e. T. Which, yes, we already have, but this is a different one. The one we have is the uh, green one. And that's the limited edition. Yeah. VHS. Of course, I don't know why it's what makes it so special. 20 minutes of behind-the-scenes footage plus a new introduction to the film by Steven Spielberg. That just goes to show how much we love E.T. We have three different, we have three different versions of VHS. We have uh, DVD, Blu-ray... And Laserdisc. So we have it on almost every format. I don't. And we have a couple of different DVD versions of it, because yeah. we have the bit. We have the big box set, and then we have it on the regular one, and then we have it on Blu-ray, and then we have it on Laserdisc. Only once on Laserdisc for yeah. now. Yeah, because there actually is a four-disc Laserdisc set of it that I found. Yeah. That I've seen online, and um, there's a DVD set that I'm missing as well. So. Hmm. Braveheart. On two cassettes. Yeah, that's because a long ass movie. Three hours. Three hours. But you know, this is one of those few really long movies that doesn't necessarily feel long. It goes by quick. Mm. You know? It's not like Patriot. The Patriot drags in spots. And especially the extended edition of it. Yeah. Which is it's just not which is not bad. It adds a lot. It adds good stuff to it. Yeah, I tried to watch that for the first time like a couple of months ago. I know, geez, I had to I had to break that up over like two nights. Extended edition of Dances with Wolves is great, by the way. I have not watched that. I've seen Dances with Wolves. I've never watched the extended edition. Another one that I guess I that I never really thought about being on VHS. That's attached, by the way. Or is it a sticker? It's a sticker, but it's attached. I'll get it later. Underworld. I love this movie so much. So, so much do I love this movie. Oh my gosh. That's, that, that's a pretty cool find. Uh, let me talk about these two. You uh, feel free. Uh, next one is The Crow. Um, right there, VHS. Uh, what's cool about this is it has, it's got an exclusive. It's got Brandon Lee's final on-camera interview, including never-before-seen never before footage. Yeah, that was a solid find. Yep. Especially because the box is like damn near perfect. And another box that's damn near perfect, except for one little spot, is mall rats. Yes. I love me some mall rats. Um, a lot of people knock on mall rats saying it's not a very good movie. Um, yeah. Anybody who's ever worked in a mall, yeah, this is a great flick. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're, they're not here to shop. They're not here to work. They're just here. I actually have a book that's a companion book to this. It's got a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff on it. A lot of good shit in it. Grease. Unopened. Two. Factory Seal. Factory 
sealed. This is the 20th anniversary edition. Includes interviews with John Travolta, John, John Travolta, Olivia Newton-John, and others. Suppose they ask him about the flying car at the end in any of those interviews. But this is the widescreen version of yeah. it. Uh, you see right here. And it's still got the sick sticker that shows the special edition interviews. And on the back, it's got a uh, card, mm -hmm. a, an art card. And this is from, I don't know what year it is because I can't see because there's an art card in it. And also it's got, still has the factory piece of tape that you had to cut in order to get it out. The security feature. Yep. This one I was actually kind of happy to find. American Tale, Five All Goes West, the sequel, which I thought was better than the original. I never saw the sequel. I, I liked the first one. The first one is very good. It's very rough and sad. This one is not quite as sad. It's a little bit more of a comedy. I think that's why, it's, that, that's why I like it a little bit more. Plus, look at that box. That box is perfect. It is damn near pristine. I've never seen a VHS box in that good shape. There's one little tear in the corner. Except well, that one. Because it's unopened, yeah. <laughs> There's one little dent in the corner, but beautiful. Sharp corners. Yes. And finally, Abbott and Costello meet the mummy. I used to watch this one with mom when we lived in Carthage because they had it at the library. And we would rent it and watch it. They had both of them. They had Abbott and Costello meet the mummy and Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. And they were, they, they, we used to rent them and watch them. They are so funny. These movies are hilarious. That was, this one was a good find. I'm, I'm really happy to have been able to find this one. So that's all we got. That's all the VHSs. Michael's got his crate put together, it looks like. My little uh, crate is put together so now I can get my my movies off the floor because that much weight is bad for them just like in records yep so at the end of episode 60 we have 40 new things all together which brings us an overall total of 18 I'm sorry 19 18 um, we have 11 new laser discs which brings our laser disc total up to 54 we have eight new VHS uh, which brings our total up to 65, no, 17 VHSs, excuse me, uh, which brings it up to 65, and eight new steelbooks, which brings our total up to 197. Cha-ching, three more, and we'll I'm, get that 200 mark. Yeah, I, I have a feeling just by happenstance, it's gonna, it's some, for some reason, it's gonna end up being Doctor Strange is gonna be our 200, because that comes out, like, next month. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Jonathan's got to figure out which VHS tapes he's going to put in the uh, holder. Yep. And we're going to, Michael will load up his laser discs and we're going to find somewhere to put this. Yep. See, so yeah, because I was thinking it sits like this and you can put them into it two by two. No, they go a long ways. So I'm not, not sure how we're going to put this on the table now. So We're going to figure it out, though. You know, figure this sucker out. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I know this was longer. It may or may not be broken up over two videos, 60 part one and 60 part two. Um, but uh, thanks for watching anyway. Blessed be.